don't mind me, just casually waiting for people to pass on the street. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Wait, come back. <laughs> Hello guys, looking a little crazy. This is my just woke up look. It's the best. So we are going to open our advent calendar. I freaking look forward to this so much every day. So I'm gonna make sure to do it like in the beginning of my day if I can, cause I'm just so excited. So let's do this. Today is the seventh. Oh my gosh, stop. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this Thumper from Bambi, right? He's, oh, look at his little tail, his little ears. I didn't do this on purpose, but all the little guys are just hanging out over here. These are adorable. I mean, these are pretty cute too, don't get me wrong. And of course, bullseye, but these are so tiny and so cute. I can't handle it. Ugh, okay, good. Another advent calendar day, check. Ooh, it's a cold one. It is cold in my car. I am about to head out to lunch with my friend. We are going to this coffee shop, cafe sort of thing. I don't know, I found it on Yelp, like I find all of my, my restaurants. And it had good reviews, and they have like a very extensive food menu for it just being a coffee shop. So I'm heading there a teensy bit early. I wanna get like a nice latte maybe, I don't know, and sit there and work on some stuff. So I brought my, my bag and my laptop. Wow, it's getting bright. So that's where I'm heading. I'll let you know how it is. I'm definitely gonna bump some Ariana Grande Christmas music. Mm, if you guys have not been listening to her Christmas stuff, she put it out two years ago, maybe. Uh, do it, for sure. It's groovy enough where it feels just like really catchy, good R&B music, but it's also like a little bit of holiday so you feel just enough festive. Like, it's great. Okay, I'm gonna head out now. stressed out <laughs> I just went to Aldi because I needed groceries and everyone is at Aldi today I don't understand because it's a Thursday it's 1 39 p.m. don't people go to work I don't have that traditional 9 to 5 so I can't judge but like during the week in the afternoon is not when the grocery store is super crowded and there were so many people and I just need to go home <laughs> and be by myself in my warm room. That's all I want. So I'll show you what I got when I get home, but for now I just need to like get home. Okay, I'm back. We're good. Just <laughs> my social anxiety was at an all time high, but I'm trying to bring it down. We're good. We're fine. When I go to the grocery store and I forget my other reusable bags, I just use my Postmates bag because it's always in my car and it's, it's a nice bag. I mean, but it says Postmates on it. And when I was checking out at Aldi, there was this man, like this older man who I could tell was looking at me like out of the corner of my eye. You know, when you just know, that someone's like staring at you and you know they're gonna say something and you're like no not today please I just can't he's in the lane over and we're both like putting our stuff on the the belt at the same time and he's like he says something and I ignore it he's like hey turn around I'm like, oh. so I I look over and he holds up his postmates bag he's like I have one of those too. And I'm like, oh yeah, cool, we match. It's a really good bag. He's like, yeah, I drive for Uber Eats now, but like, I still use the Postmates bag because it's really good. And I'm like, cool, sir, thank you. So he was nice. There was nothing wrong or ominous about him. I just like, didn't want to talk to strangers. Anyways, let me show you what I got. What are words? Let me show you what I got at the grocery store. We needed bread. I got some bread. Oh, avocado down. He's okay. Oh, a little dented. It's okay. I got three avocados. They're a really good price at Aldi. Go to Aldi to buy your produce. It's so much cheaper there. I got a cube. Actually, it doesn't say cucumber or zucchini. I thought it was a zucchini, but I'm thinking now it might be a cucumber. We'll see what happens. I got these little yellow squashes. These are really good. If you cut them up into circles and roast them in the oven, they taste amazing. So I tried those. And then I also got this pack of sweet potatoes. Mm. Sweet. 
sweet potato, sweet potato. Oh, and I guess that's it. So I just got a bunch of veggies because I'm not healthy, right? Okay, I'm not that healthy of a person, but I'm trying this new thing where I just don't keep unhealthy things in my apartment because if I have a cookie or if I have ice cream in my house, like I'm gonna eat it. But if I only buy vegetables, and I love roasted vegetables, they taste amazing. So if I just keep all of those in my house and I make only vegetables, then I will eat only vegetables. That is my secret to being healthy. And I'm still not that healthy, but we're trying to improve. Also the place we went to lunch smelled overwhelmingly like bacon. And now I smell like bacon and I'm not the biggest fan of bacon. So I'm not happy about it. Okay, I will talk to you guys a little later. We'll take you out of the, the cupboard that I had you resting in. Talk to you later. Can I rant about something? This is so freaking annoying. YouTube is going bonkers. This is my video manager, it has all your videos. You can see how many views, comments, likes, all of that. And then over here, this little money sign means that it's monetized. If you guys watch my videos, you might see some ads before. That's just because I like to monetize my videos. When this happens, it means it's not suitable for most advertisers. This vlog, I talked about Spotify, music I like, and me and my mom went to the movies. That's it. There is nothing inappropriate in here at all. Like from the title, from the thumbnail, from the tags. There's no way you could tell there's anything inappropriate in here. And YouTube keeps doing this to videos. I don't know if it happens to bigger vloggers, but I know I follow like a lot of my YouTube friends on Twitter and they always tweet like, why is this happening? It happens to so many smaller YouTubers and I don't understand. And again, let me emphasize, YouTube is not my job. I don't rely on monetization for my income. Obviously, I, <laughs> wow, I would be dead and homeless and hungry because I do not make enough money off of YouTube. But from time to time, it's a nice little like check that I get and it's nice to have some sort of monetary reward for putting so much work into vlogmas you know what I mean so I just don't understand what YouTube is seeing in some videos my videos my friends videos that's inappropriate whereas ooh, don't get me started but <laughs> Tana Mojo I love watching her videos for entertainment purposes okay I don't think she's <laughs> the greatest person. I don't think she's a good role model. I don't think her morals are exactly great, but I like to watch her videos for entertainment. She's funny, right? And her content is always very inappropriate. Like it's funny, sure, but she just like goes places that most people on the internet do not go. And she uploaded kind of recently, it was a vlog that was like, I crashed this $150,000 car while I was high and she was literally doing drugs, or I don't know what she was doing, but she talked about all the kinds of drugs that she takes in the video. And then while high, she doesn't have a driver's license and she was driving her friend's car and she crashed it. And that's like what her video was about. And I'm pretty dang sure that was monetized or I saw an ad on that video or something like that. And that, <laughs> that just makes me think, how is something like this suitable for advertisers and that gets to keep its ads? But when I go on YouTube and talk about the Spotify 2017 wrapped up website thing, that's not suitable. You know, obviously Tana is a bigger YouTuber. She relies on YouTube as a job for money and stuff like that. And I don't, but it shouldn't be that different. Like each YouTuber should be equal in the amount of privileges YouTube gives us and the monetization and all of that. Does this make sense? If you're not a YouTuber, you may not understand, but this is something that honestly keeps affecting everybody and it's really freaking annoying. I don't know if that got me riled up or if I've just been wearing this robe for too long, but now I'm, I'm too hot. So that's all I have for now. I'll talk to you a little later when I'm not as aggressive. <laughs> wow, am I walking to work to do the overnight late shift because it's so dark out? No, it's just five o'clock. <laughs> My best luck. <laughs> no, dude, charcoal masks are really gross because they seep into your pores and I have like huge pores on my nose and like around my nose and the charcoal stuff just like goes in there and they're gross but when I wash this off I think I'm gonna feel great 
Okay, I may have left the face mask on a little too long because I tried to wash it off and I could still see like charcoal and black stuff in my pores and um, that's no good. So maybe that mask wasn't so efficient. I'm just trying to have a really nice <laughs> self-care night. I washed all my makeup brushes. That felt good. They definitely needed to be washed. It was disgusting. I have a candle lit, my Christmas lights on. I have my flannel nightgown kind of thing. I'm loving life. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and maybe do a little bit of my sticker book if we're feeling crazy. So I'm gonna end the vlog. Wait, my book, my question of the day. I was not ready. December 7th, our question is, where do you see yourself next year? This is exciting. Okay, I'm gonna go through my answers of the past and see if they actually came true. So the first entry I have in here is from 2013. So that means I thought in 2014, I would still be at Marquette taking more classes, being the same person. I think that's pretty accurate. In 2015, I thought I would be living in St. James with Lily and Jess. I did do that. Hopefully with some cool job or working at the desk on the second floor of Johnston Hall. I did not have a cool job unless you consider TJ Maxx cool. It is kind of cool. <laughs> um, but I did work at the desk on the second floor, so that came true. In 2016, I said I'll still be living in St. James prepping for finals week senior year, which might include Capstone and doing Vlogmas 2016. I was indeed still living in St. James and I did not do a Capstone that semester. I did it the semester after, but doesn't matter. And I did Vlogmas 2016, duh. And then last year, here is my prediction for this year today. I said I'll be living in Chicago, hopefully at a cool production job. Oops, gearing up to head home for the holidays. I don't think I'll truly like head home for the holidays because it's not that far like I can just go home whenever I want so it's not going to be like an extended stay at home but I will be home for the holidays. I am living in Chicago. I don't have a cool production job but I like the job that I have right now so I don't see anything wrong with that. Now <laughs> predicting next year is a little more difficult because it's not like I'll be this year in school and I'll be doing this. Like, I really don't know what my future holds or where I'll be. I'm just living so day to day right now, which is fine, but I'm not thinking long term at all in terms of jobs. And I don't want to get into this conversation right now because that could be an entire vlog on its own. But like next December, I, I might still be in Chicago. Maybe I'll be like super moving up in Francesca's if that's what I want. Or maybe I will have found a job that involves TV or production or maybe something completely different that I just haven't been exposed to yet. Or maybe like I will have found an opportunity back in Milwaukee. Maybe I'm gonna live in a city I've never lived in before. Like I could do anything. And it's really weird to think about. So I, <laughs> I don't know what to write down. This is weird. I don't know. Take a moment. Think about where will you be next year. Tell me in a comment down below because I'm curious. And I'm going to sit here and think how to answer this question for a little bit. So thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. I think it was really long. I'm sorry. I talked a lot today. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and make sure you're subscribed so you see when I post new videos. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.